Hey all, this is Urs, and welcome to the inaugural episode, after the preview, of the huge Earth True Start Location game starring Lenyon. Good times, good times all. Let's get going. So, before we really dig in, I want to show you the mods that I'm using here. Obviously, we're using uh, the True Start Locations map pack. We're using a huge Earth map pack. It's, it's abbreviated Y-N-A-E-M-P, but it's basically yet not another Earth map pack is the full name of that. Really, it is a mouthful. It is a mouthful, but it is what it is. That's what we're using to get the True Start Locations and a huge Earth. The sieves we already talked about, so I'm not going to go into that. A couple of compatibility mods I had to download to make sure some of these uh, sieves actually started where they're supposed to. But those are minor details. We're always running with events and decisions because they make our journey grander. We're using historic eras. Now, I am trying this time scale out, and like I discussed in the preview, this means that production is at standard pace. Um, money making and all that stuff is at standard pace, but research is at um, marathon pace. So we'll be able to spend a bunch of time in every era as the uh, time drags on. So it'll be really an epic journey throughout the eras. And it'll give us some time to beat the crap out of every single enemy civ that is out here. Good times. We're also running with Mercenary Army Expanded. Except that was a really neat way to utilize that commerce policy. More luxuries, more pantheons. And that Special Forces upgrade because I like playing with it. I didn't put any uh, weird wonders in this one this, this time in particular. Uh, last time I know we used the uh, Knights Templar wonder. Didn't want to use that one. Mainly because, well, I don't know how things will scale. I was going to find another one, but I figured, you know, not knowing how things scale, not knowing how it's going to go, let's just try to keep it more or less copacetic and standard, yeah. So, that's what we're running with, and here is our start location, to found Moscow. Uh, well, let's see. That's a hill. I would love to start on a hill, but that is stone. It would be a shame uh, to waste that, but downside of this is that it's not river, so we want to stay on the river, obviously, for our capital here, uh, let's see what else is around here, let's take a quick, quick peek, um, we got ruins there, and we have silk across the river, and if we found here, we will not get the silk, if we found here, we will get the silk, so I do think I'm gonna move one tile to the east, we'll also clear this marsh that way, and that'll be pretty handy, so let's go do that, and we'll settle next turn. Um, you gotta help me. Alright, this is gonna be a pretty long turn, because all the city states need to be founded. So that's gonna take quite some time. We saw 18 players in the game. There are 18 civs, 17 of which are modded, and one of which is Montezuma. Yeah, because like I said, the Mexican civs weren't working. Uh, when I tried to get this mod working, maybe they will in the future, and we'll have something representing that part of the world. But anyway... That's what we're doing. All right, Moscow being founded. Bam. That's a really long foundation step. All right, what do we got? Production focus makes sense. Let's lock the deer because that makes sense. We got three luxuries in range thanks to that move. We have furs to the northeast, coffee right here to the southeast, and silk further to the southeast. That's pretty beautiful. Uh, let's get this while we can and see what we've got. Free weapons, we got a free spearman, not too shabby. Choose production, scout, and monument, in that order. And because this is a bigger map, we are probably... Oh, just so you understand like how big the research time difference is. Um, pottery, 46 turns. You're just seeing this, say, 8, maybe 10. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be spending some more time in the Asian era before we move to the classical. So we're going to shoot, I think... We'll see what our luxuries are. Luxuries are trapping, not so good, and... Plantation calendar luxuries, plus some mining to chop this forest. So, I think pottery makes sense, especially if we're trying to get a religion. We still found seven religions. It's a big map. We have a chance. Let's try to do that. Setting for production focus, locking it down. Looks good. Let's move. I am hoping I expand the stone sometime soon, because that'll be a good setup. And like I said, this is a pretty big map. So, we may be exploiting the fact uh, that we're going to be able to set a lot of cities in happiness costs are going to be reduced for city settlement such that we may uh, go kind of similar actually to the opening we did with the Scandi Melee and that open with tradition to get the city expansion rate faster and then move to liberty uh, but anyway let's just keep going Ooh, perfume so this looks like a, oh this looks like a really good spot three other luxuries and a river yeah I think this is going to be the next city location uh, almost no question that looks ridiculously strong 
of a spot. That's huge. And a ruin, no less. Well, let's go across the river, and we'll hit the ruin on the other side. Okay, we're going to the desert now. So this is going to be toward uh, the Middle East, toward Turkey and all that. That makes sense, uh, given where we are geographically. And we're going to keep scooting around here and seeing what we can see. We have some idea of what our neighbors are going to be. Obviously, to the west, we're going to have the Goths and the Scots. We're going to have to the east, we're going to have the Siberian Khanate. God help us. We're going to have the Chinese. We're going to have Sumer to the southeast. We're going to have Harappa also further to the east and then south. 90 gold. Okay, I'll take it. But this looks like an amazing city location. This is a lake. Okay, it's not, not coastal, um, but this is not too bad, honestly. I could totally see myself settling a city here and really enjoying it, despite the fact that we're next to desert. It'll give us the opportunity to even build Petra, which is huge. We've got a mountain over here, and there's a city-state right there. Interesting. So I lotteried, so 18 civs. I lotteried into 36 city-states. Double the number of civs is kind of what you see in a normal game. I try to keep that as much as possible. Um, I'm not sure how my computer is going to handle that later on. I really hope these turns don't drag. Otherwise, it's going to require a colossal amount of editing to get out to you. But for now, early turns at least are looking good. Tyre. And it's a happiness city state, so it's not too bad. We may have some competition for tiles here with Tyre, but we'll... Oh, we'll let it make do. All right, anyway. Next. As long as we get the furs, I'll be happy. We are not going to steal the troubles from them. They're obviously going to have the troubles handy. Oh, maybe not. Actually, what what is your special luxury here? Tobacco and troubles. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be getting a lot of stuff out there. We want to keep them on our good side, I guess. Uh, let's keep looking up this way. Hi, barbarians. Okay, we got amber to the west as well, so that'll be nice. Uh, we'll see kind of where who comes west, who comes east, and there we go. We met the Sumerians already, so they are coming from the southeast. They're going north. Truly blessed to enter into my divine presence. When you brought tribute, yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath, Bucko. I would not hold your breath. Where did he come from? Yeah, he came from the southeast. Okay, so he knows where my capital is. If we get writing at any time soon, uh, we will likely be shredding, um, shredding, trading embassies with that man. Let's see what else is out here. Ah, yes, another ruin. Ooh, salt even. Okay, so I'm kind of looking right now, I guess, thinking-wise, settling one on the river here, settling one east here by the mountain possibly, getting that salt and the amber and the olives. There's a lot of nice luxuries available here and I wanna make the most of that. We're gonna need as many as we possibly can. We're gonna roll that that way just to keep growing so we can make, uh, we just grew so this is gonna be a good chance we get extra pop. Archery, that's huge actually. Free techs from ruins are ridiculously strong when it takes about 40 turns for you to research pottery. Um, it's a big deal, so that's actually huge. Archers are, very strong early on, obviously. They're the first range unit you have a handle on. Getting free archery is awesome. We would have to research it anyway. It's pretty much a free go. That is great. Very happy about that, actually. Very happy about that. Um, we're still building that monument there, so that's good on me. Uh, let's see what else we got. Increased pop. That's good. That's perfectly fine. I am content with that. We're going to finish the monument, I think, and then immediately move to Settler. I think there's no reason to wait. I'm hoping I can get a culture ruin at some point. Uh, not, doesn't seem like the game's, uh, cooperating too much with that, but we'll figure it out. All right, so you see it's rolling, and yeah, the turns aren't going too long for now, so I'm, I'm less worried about the scale, the sheer scale of this insanity that we've stumbled our way into. Uh, Spearman. All right, cool, next. I do want to explore this way with a scout. I want to know what's really around my city before we go too far. Pick up all the goody huts that we can. Uh, let's go here so we can see. All right, that's even more salt. So this looks like a really good spot, honestly. Or maybe on the river would be good, assuming the Siberian continent isn't too close and they decide to, like, freaking pillage my city. All right, a uh, lot of good luxuries around, though, which is really nice. It's going to help us expand very quickly. And the Siberian continent is here. Kuchum Khan, we meet on this auspicious day. Uh, he's probably going to immediately covet my lands, is my guess. No, no, he's not coveting yet. That's good. No Ganesis borders. Let's see what the reputation is now. No major incidents. Okay, so he's not totally friendly, but he's also not trying to murder me yet, which is good. I mean, I'm not trying to stereotype <laughs> the, the Kanat at all, but, you know, they are historically somewhat aggressive. Can we just say that and be honest about things? Yeah, somewhat aggressive. All right. We're going to keep scooting here southwards, clearing up all the uh, fog around my capital so I know what's what. Oh, even more trouble. That's a crap ton of troubles. I'm able to steal one of these from Tyre, actually. Probably that one. 
So we'll have four luxuries in Moscow. That's really nice. I didn't realize the Russian starter location was so strong. Crap. Barbarian camp. That's all right. Okay, so finish the monument. I would do a worker here, but we're okay on happiness for now. I'm going to crank out a settler. I want to get that beautiful, sexy river spot uh, right off the bat. That's amazing. And I'm thinking, you know, how would I do this best, right? So not to crowd the capital. We'll have one, two, three... This will be fresh water. This will have some farms. We'll be able to claim the tire territory a bit here. And then also build into a really good way to support our eastern expansion. I'm thinking settling right there, honestly. This will give me some floodplain stuff. It should be floodplains. Why is it not floodplains? That's kind of weird. Uh, but all right. And maybe that'll be just plus three food, I guess. Desert will be zero yield, so that'll be just plus two. Kind of strange. It should be floodplains, I think. Um, but all right, whatever. Uh, I'm thinking of settling here, right? Because Moscow is going to take up here up to three. Uh, one, two, three. This will be able to cover the rest of that. It'll still be in range of the sugar. It'll be near sources of fresh water pretty much everywhere at the lakes. Um, and it'll have perfume and tobacco. Some decent production from lumber mills that we'll retain. And even have olives in range in case we don't get the settlement. So I think that's easily a no-brainer. Let's see how fast we can make this happen. 15 is okay. Can we make that a little better? Can we go... No, can't do any faster. No, can't... 15 is the best, but this is how we're going to staff it for now. It gives us some more money in, in between. And like I said, yeah, because production is normal, the cost to buy an archer is pretty much normal, so that's really good. I'm going to see if I can steal a worker from Tyre. I know I said I want to get them on my good side, and I do. Uh, but there's time for that. There's time enough for that. I mean, there's some really nice city locations up here to the north as well. I mean, there's a lot of great places I want to expand to. And I want to make sure my eyes don't, my uh, eyes aren't bigger than my stomach at this point. That we can expand safely when we expand. But um, we will expand pretty aggressively here. It's a big map. We can drop more cities and not really feel the happiness pressure. Uh, we'll lose basically 1.8 instead of almost 3 per city. So that's a big difference. It's a big deal. We want to exploit that to our utmost. Oh, hi. Ruin, good. I might be able to steal that from the Siberian Khanate, and that'd be good. I want to see where the Khanate is um, before we really decide to push out. I need to know if I'm going to forward settle on them pretty hard. If I forward settle on them pretty hard, I'm guessing they're going to go aggressive by me... Um, I'm always getting gold. Uh, by me kind of trampling on their sovereign lands here. So that would kind of suck. I don't want to piss off the Khanate early because, you know, I don't want to deal with them. I want to expand comfortably. We we'll have plenty of time to go to war this game. Like I said, pottery's still not even there. It's been 17 turns. Uh, Moscow, keep killing that. Finally, the policy. I'm going to take tradition to get that early culture boost and then switch to liberty uh, to expand faster in this big map. Let's go out that way. All right, Siberian Khanat is exploring that way. Where's the Khanat's capital? I don't even know. It's really kind of frustrating. I should be able to see it by now. Um, they're probably, I mean, historically, they're by... This, oh, there we go. There, we found the border. Okay, so we found the Khanat's capital. So if we, if we do expand out here, it's going to be pretty close to the Khanat, but we should be okay. Uh, I want, I may want to settle more conservatively in that case, not really up here, because then the Khanat will be less likely to go after me. There goes Kashlik. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> the land of the coughing. I'm joking. That's not really what it means. It just, it's just funny to me. It's, it, it's a joke from a Slav to a Slav. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, all right. Uh, here and there. Uh, no, don't do this crap. You have barbarians. It's okay. We'll survive. Ten turns. Good enough. Uh, let's just... Where can he not go next turn for sure? He can't go that way, so that's fine. All right, ten turns. Good. We are improving, yes? All right, this way, that way, and we are slow down. Okay, so that's kind of where we're going. Geography, I mean, more or less is known. How it's adapted to Civ, that's questionable. So we're going to send our spearmen back uh, enough time to escort the settler around. We'll probably... Jumpstart that with the scout. We want to meet as many civs as possible this early. It'll speed up the research, and as you saw, research is going to be kind of at a premium right now. Hi, you're an ass. Luckily, I have no improvements for them to pillage, so... Joke's on you, friend. Oh, we expanded to three production. Let's get that going. Pantheon found it already. I mean, I guess the AI does start with pottery, so that's kind of a given. 25 faith minimum. Uh, I guess this is extended, too. Oh, where's the religious overview? It's probably here. Herp derp. Yeah, okay, yeah. 25 for the first one. So yeah, things extend, I guess, with this massive game scale. All right, what do we got? Eight turns. Let's make the... Yeah, there we go. That's already looking better. Six turns. Yeah, that got a lot faster, didn't it? We got to get some of these units back. So we can actually um, escort that settler. 
Uh, yep, we keep running this way. We should be able to get back in time. Those six turns, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's enough to escort him. Good. Assuming no barbarian. Ah, another one for greater countries have you fallen before me. The thicker the hay, the easier it is mode. Okay, so, you know, one of the, I guess, the consequences of not thinking about how who I was playing the game with is that both the Goths and the Kanat are to my east and west. So that may have been a minor miscalculation on my part, uh, meaning that I'm going to get murdered. Uh, so we're going to may have to be going on the defensive a little earlier than I would like at this point, but... Um, that doesn't mean we're gonna die, it just means we're likely to. So we gotta really make sure we have military- You're already sitting a caravan here. That's just gonna get pillaged, bro. Why are you sitting a caravan out? Why are you sending a caravan, bro? Alright, so the Goths are here, bloody marvelous. They both know where my capital is, so that's a little scary. Um, they're pretty far west, though. The Goths should be starting kind of in the middle of Europe. And if I'm lucky, they'll just expand westward toward Iberia first. I don't really want to deal with them that quickly. What's the fast way to do this? Let's try to go this way. So four turns. One, two, three, four. And like I said, I'm getting him over the river, and then it'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. Adopt policy. All right, liberty next. Um, after that tradition, culture bonus is going to be another culture bonus from the city. And then we'll get Republican collective rule to drop some more settlers out there. Like I said, there's a lot of good spots here. And I want to make use of the really solid uh, city locations as early as possible. There's a lot of room to expand here, and we've got to make use of it. Barbarian's there. Good thing we have a unit. Uh, you come back. I want you to go west, I guess. Let's try to meet... Well, we already met some the Sumerians, so we don't need to really go south yet. We met the Siberian Kanat. We do want to go really far east, obviously. Um, we do eventually want to meet the Chinese, the Indus Valley Civ, and all that other good stuff. World's busiest people. I'm pretty busy. That's not bad. I'm equivalent to Kuchum Khan's production, that's good. I mean, he's probably spending it all on military. <laughs> spending it all on shoes! Uh, but no, he's probably spending it all on military, actually. Ways to kill me. Let's... Ah, do I go east or west is the question. Let's go west so we know what Europe is looking like and shaping up like. I mean, it's obviously the Scots and um, the Goths. And I already met the Goths. And the Scots won't be able to hit the mainland until they get sailing. So maybe a little while until they really get handy, I think. Let's go up this way, and like I said, this is where I'm going to be settling with my settler. So I'm going to escort him with the scout and the spearman. I'm going to drop the city here. It's going to have a little bit shy on food. Uh, the olives would be great, but I don't want to shoot it too far east, otherwise I'm going to lose the sugar, which I want to keep. So settler, keep moving, buddy. You're going to be growing for the empire. Grow people for the empire. Come on. You can do it. All right, Moscow, don't starve, please. That would suck. That's good, that's good. And we're going to be, like I said, a little shy on food here. Um, we're going to need to get that granary up sometime soon. We still don't have the granary available. Pottery's in six. So let's get an archer out. I need a defensive military unit, and then I'll think about getting a worker or maybe stealing one from Tyre. Uh, really, the defensive military thing is way more important at the moment. I need to make sure that I can protect my workers. Because so barbarians are going to be coming hard and fast here, I fear. And um, we got to make sure we can deal with them in the manner to which they become accustomed. I don't really want to go at these guys yet, comma, bro. I might do it once and then just sit back and defend. Because if I get another unit spawning here, this spearman's going to be in a little bit of trouble. So I'm just going to hit him once and then just sit up here, fortify this territory, this terrain. The scout will be here for a little bit of military defense if need be. Um, how fast can I get here? That's probably still the fastest way, yeah. All right, so let's go west, say hi to our neighbors, the Goths, and get ready to defend ourselves against them because God knows that's coming our way. I wish I had more food. I wish I could go here. What? Wait, I already expanded there. What are you talking about? Wait, don't mind, Willis. I need you to get that other deer, buddy. I really need you to get that other deer. It's only 50 gold. I did gain a lot. This will really help our growth. Let's do that. I think it's worth it this early to speed another population. Uh, and we're going to need that worker soon. How fast can we go here? Yeah, let's keep going. You guys are going to start taking poundings pretty soon, I'm afraid. We got to get that settler there quick. All right, you... Holy crap, that's a lot of gothic military already. Are you serious? Guys, 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 guys. You got to calm down a little bit there. That's a lot of military that early. Come on, come on. 
Let's be civil now. Let's not use it against me. Ow, 20. Well, that's experience, I guess. I think they're going after barbarians right now, but I got... Oh, God, the Goths are right there. Bull. Come on, they started that far east? I kind of thought they'd start in mainland Europe a little more. All right, well, I guess they are... I mean, the Goths are... Yeah, I mean, it is kind of Germany, I guess, and this map is... It is scaled, so Europe's not exactly huge in this area, but we basically got a bunch of really angry guys right near us. Hi, Archemar. Okay, so his freaking capital is right there. I think me and the Goths are going to have a lot of disagreements really quickly right now. All right, first of all, I need to drop the city with a quickness. Thank you. Get that going. Production focus. That's the best tile we're going to have for that. I really want those olives, but... More importantly, I need to clear up all these assholes because this is now becoming a problem. I'm very worried uh, about what may be coming my way from the west. It's a little disconcerting, but we'll make do. Uh, we do need that archer. We're probably going to need some military, and the Goths likely are coming. That's right, the monument. Yeah, we don't have that free um, culture building from tradition anymore. So we're going to have to get Republic. So that's coming next turn, so that's all right. But we're going to need to do that. We're going to need to get the libraries up quickly. I think we're going to need a lot of science uh, with the quickness here. Yeah, I know. You got their nearby encampment targeted. It's going to be a problem. All right, so the Goths. We met the Goths already, and they're literally right here, which is why they got over to us so fast. I might go east instead and see what I can meet there. Let's go Republic. I oh, can get a free worker, but I think I need that free settler sooner. It's going to be more important. Let's get that worker later. Uh, let's go Republic. Speed up that monument considerably. You'll heal up and then kill the archers in a moment. Riga wants me to kill that. I need a archer before I can do that. So yeah, about that. Uh, pottery's in two, which is good. I may want to get that granary at some point. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of early, early ancient warfare. I think with the Goths because we are their nearest neighbor, and I'm ninety percent certain. Hey, fifty gold, not bad. I kind of wish that was later, but all right. Boom. All right, good. Can we kill you now? Yes, we can. Excellent. I'm not sure if I had a quest for that, but I don't really care. I don't want that barbarian sitting on my border like that, being all snide and snarky. He's all barbarian superiority. I do need some workers now, though, and that's going to become an issue relatively quickly. Ah, uh, you're going after that camp. Good. Are we friendly yet, or are you coveting my lands already? You are counting my life. Unex not unexpected is pretty much what I want to say there. Not unexpected. Kind of scary to start with the Goths that close, I gotta say. That's not so good. I thought, like I said, they'd be further further west. Just a, just a little, little further west. But I guess not. Pottery. Good. Okay, so. A couple things we need to build. Uh, I think shrine first is good. We can try to push for a religion. Um, and then we need some workers. I'm going to show you if I can worker steal, actually. Can we worker steal from Tyre? We have to be able to work steel from Tyre at some point. So, animal husbandry or mining, what are our options? Well, our luxuries, such as they are, are calendar luxuries, trapping luxuries, and what's the other one? Ah, yes, calendar luxuries with mining, with a, with a small dose of mining. So that's a little annoying. Um, what do we have up here? Perfume, that's not a unique luxury for me. I have it down here. I have tobacco. I will have sugar. Uh, and olives, but I could settle up here for the silk, which I don't have. El no, I will have the silk from Moscow. So I could settle up here, though we will get the, the truffles. And this will be more or less coastal. We'll have truffles. This will expand Moscow's terrain. So I can go north and kind of block off this area with this city and still get the amber, I think. It's not bad. So really, I'm kind of blocked in here a little bit by both the Goths and the Siberian Khanats. So that's a little, a little scary. Calendar in 42. Yeah, the downside is I don't have a lot of easy luxuries. There are other, these two are all calendar luxuries, so I kind of have to go for calendar, despite the fact that I would love to have horses or mining at some point. Uh, but minor details that. It's the, it's the whole historic eras thing. That's what's going on. That's what's happening right now. And it's real. The eras are real. Okay, let's go up here with the archer, see if we can clear that camp out a little bit so we have a little less barbarian issues. And it'll make us friendlier with Riga, and it'll help us grow, and that's never a bad thing. Another Pantheon founded. Desert folklore. Okay. My guess is that's Sumerian. Um, he probably started in the desert. Uh, not what I'm looking for. Sorry. Here we go. 
Wow, there's a lot of pantheons. Ah, uh, holy crap. Uh, no one knows. Okay, no one knows who that is, actually. 50 faith. Good God. All right, well, we may not be getting a religion. At least we get a shrine up, eh? All right. Tire. Oh, yes, we can steal that worker, which is good. Are you not prote are you protected by anybody? Hold on. Declare? No. Excellent. You're not protected by anyone. That's what I like to see. So, the Siberian Khanat already settled here. I will not be forward settling them. Actually, that would be a horrible freaking idea. Instead, I will go north, settle on this river mouth, get a coastal city, get hopefully amber, also truffles, coffee, and that. And yeah, we'll have a lot of luxuries up that way. We may be going that way, I think, with us. And then I think we're going to need to go to war. I mean, this is this is just a little, little crazy right now, what we're dealing with. A lot of very aggressive civs, very close to us, and they already have a military. Uh, we have an archer. Yeah, yeah, one of those. We got an archer, guys. Uh, we kind of need a little more than that if we're going to protect the interests of the great Soviet people. Um, let's go out here and take a peek. Okay, there's another worker I probably want to steal, but let's just steal this one for now. Yes. Peace. Thank you. At least that'll make everyone else be like, okay, no, he, he's not afraid of war. And that may be good for the aggressive type of AIs I'm facing next. Uh, like I said, the food here is a little scarce. So I do need to work on that. Calendar, like I said, I'm not going to be able to build this at all. I think I'm just going to build a farm up at Pietrograd uh, first and go from there. Um, all right, let's see. That's Sumerian Vulture. All right, that is the warrior replacement. It's a unique replacement. So we're going to check them out, see where their capital is, then head head east to meet China, meet Harappa. Who else we put up there? I think it's pretty much everyone we put up there, actually. All right. Yep, there is Sumer, and already a pretty expansive border, I must say. Go that way. Yeah, you pissed everybody off. It's all right. When you're the best, you always piss people off. All right. Uh, let's keep bombarding the crap out of this. Get that barbarian camp clear to get some good, get some brownie points with Riga. I do want to get a religion in this game, maybe. Uh, it would be nice. It would be really nice. But, you know, like I said, shrine and all. Do I depend on this to get a settler? I think I do. Seven turns is going to be pretty good. I may just focus on building out another archer here instead of building a settler. We may even get a granary up. I don't, I'm not even sure at this point. Uh, let's keep going this that way. Yeah, I think the best move for this worker, despite me really wanting to improve my capital, I can't do too much with that. I already have some decent tiles to work. Um, yeah, food's a little scarce here. So I'm gonna crank out a worker and then another archer. But I need to get Pietrograd some food because they are suffering under the yoke of not having food. And that's never good. That kind of yoke is never fun. Um, are you yoking? I'm gonna take this spearman out there. All right, can I just take a peek at where your city's at? Okay, I guess not. AC's over there? Wow, some big borders you got there, buddy. At least we know where city is, more or less. That's, I guess, something good. Tell me something good. Yeah. We could send a trader out there pretty early if we saw it, though. That'd be, that's kind of what I'm trying to get at. There we go. That's Uruk. That's not his capital, still. Um, so Shrine will have a new settler in six. Let's get a worker out, a second one, and then probably another archer. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. Just because, like I said, military is going to be at a premium for us right now, I think. Spearman, worker, and we'll start a farm there. You're going to try to snooch this out from under me, aren't you, snoochy woochy? Um, let's go here. Shoot it, and then hopefully claim it. I don't want him to steal that from me. It would be really irritating and kind of douchey. Yeah, he's going to try, but he's not going to be able to unless they spawn another dude here. In which case, yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure the Goths went honor. Not sure what the Siberian Khanat went. Uh, there's another archer. Crap. All right. So our timing is quite off at the moment. Uh, we can't do much with that. Make a farm there. You protect him. You, you're you working that for now. And your next person is going to go there, I guess. So we get some actual food in this area. Granary is going to be important for this city, I think. All right. Can we see the capital? Hey, Mount, oh, I found Mount Sinai. All right, so they're going to be a religious powerhouse right now. Where the hell is the city? Damn! One of these days. Um, I'm going to punch you in the face. Okay, the problem is that warrior is going to be able to claim this before me, which is a real... Wow, that was fast. 
Why does he have so much power in his warriors exactly? He looked like he's settling west. He is covering my lands, but he's settling west, so that's a little bit of an advantage, I guess. Uh, let's see. Do we all go honor here? Honor. Oh, he went liberty. He didn't go honor, so his military isn't going to be overbearingly strong. I'm going to go rough here because a lot of the territory around here is rough. But I also definitely want to settle up here, and that settler's coming in four, so i got to clear that way. Probably going to crank out another archer here, then likely a granary. Um, in that order. You go here and get me some money. And maybe one day we'll learn the secrets of the calendar and go from there. But like I said, the game is definitely... Uh, the pacing is completely different, and I, I kind of really like it, honestly. I think it's, it's, it's a nice change. Um, spending some time back in the ancient era. I mean, I don't feel like I'm rushing through. Like, by now, we'd have, like, three people in the classical. And here, we're still trying to figure out what the calendar is like. And that's pretty cool. So the downside is, yeah, we have an advanced um, luxury, meaning we need an advanced tech to get it. Uh, the upshot, though, is that pretty much every single one of our luxuries is calendar save trapping. So that's going to be a big advantage. We're probably going to go to writing after this uh, to get our science up. Then probably to animal husbandry and mining. That would give us some early production, but right now I don't think I can afford that. I need to keep going with what I've got. Get that science moving so we can move up the ranks a little. So many pantheons. I mean, nothing good left. I might be able to get some in plantations. The oral, oral tradition is probably up there already. Hold on, what am I talking about? Go up here. Go here. Uh, yeah, God King. Uh, Oh, Siberian Pantheon went monument to the gods? Really? Sumerian went one with nature, so they're going to have a massively powerful religion with Mount Sinai and all. Um, okay. Well, whatever, bro. Uh, I guess they didn't take the oral, history, oral tradition from the, pan from the uh, plantations yet. So that's good. Lian is there. Uh, cool. We're going to go back north so we don't get caught behind Ur uh, and get the hell out of here while we can because those borders are rapidly closing. Archer's doing fine. Like I said, I want to spot this area. I want to drop that city there. It's a great location. And we're going to have a settler in three. I want to make sure this path is clear. Uh, Pantheon founded. Yeah, tears of the gods. We know. We know. We heard the first time. Stop rubbing it in. Rub gentler. Remember, our workers work faster because we are the Soviets. Um, so this farm will be up lickety split. We're going to need another farm going here in Moscow and then hopefully keep the cities growing uh, in the manner to which they become accustomed. Uh, let's spread out here a little bit and take a peek. Oh, there's a city state right there I didn't meet yet. All right, go, 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 scout. Get out of there while you can. I really hope I can get out there safely. Goths are there. Sabirin Kanat's obviously looking for that spot. It's mine. You can't take it. You can't have it. I like it. I'm going to sit there. And we got a settler in a turn or two. Now, I'm probably going to do that settler. Just drop him. Oh, this is all riverine, so this is going to be pretty hard to move through. So probably the fastest way will be what, like one, two, three, four, five is probably the fastest route. Otherwise, we'll be going one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, so probably this is the way we're going to send that settler in a turn. But let's meet that city-state. Hi, Almaty. Oh, there's another city-state right there. Damn, that's a lot of city-states. That's a lot of cows. All right, good. So we're out um, from the Sumerian land blockage, I guess. We'll see what's up westward see which way the goths are expanding oh well, they expanded down here interesting they might go after the sumerians actually which will be good to know if the goths do push towards sumer uh it'll take some pressure off of us it looks like there's a city up there so he may have definitely have settled here and that's nice all right free settler collective rule yes please uh, we may go unhappy with the settlement but like i said i need to claim as much land oh you settled that you cheeky git now i gotta recalculate one two three <laughs> Four, five, six, seven turns to get there versus one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is now the fastest way. We're going to go that way. Uh, yeah, so like I said, we are going to go unhappy here. Unfortunately, we don't really have a, a way around that um, as much as I would like one. Hi, Samarkand. I wish I had met you guys earlier because then I would have freaking have a little more money to spend. On G, I don't know, maybe a worker that could improve a luxury. But like I said, we don't have that tech yet. So it's going to be a little bit. But the important thing is, it's not really being happy or unhappy. It's it's how you use it. Does that even make... I don't even... I don't, I don't, what is this? I don't even... Okay, whatever. Uh, can I take a quick peek out here? All right, good. Olive. So even another luxury out here. So this is a great city location. Uh, I will settle that ASAP. Uh, that 
workers are going to come out of there soon. Let's get another farm going on Pietrograd here. Probably back here, safer from barbarians. It'll be closer to our own territory. And we'll see what the enemies have in store. Oh, crap. Jala, you should flee now under the cover of night, lest your wives be seized and you find no water in your water skin to keep you alive. You seem angry. There's something I can help you with. All right, so he came from the lands of Africa down in the Ye direction. Um, fascinating. He got it all the way up here already. That's not great in my mind, but, uh, you know, there is trade with Africa now. Once I know where he is. Pieter Grad has grown. How good of you. Yeah, stay there and grow a little harder. Do you mind with the shrine and all? Yeah, we're going to go really unhappy with this settler, and it's kind of kind of disconcerting, but I don't want to lose that spot. If it forces me to go unhappy for a little while, I'll, I'll deal with it, I guess. Um, but like I said, right now, getting that territory settled is going to be clutch. And the calendar in 23, I mean, I'm not producing a lot of science, but it may change. I would like to have a caravan somewhere. Okay, so there's definitely Gothic City here. Uh, I'd like to know what it is and where it is. I'd probably go up here and take a peek at it. Uh, you, yep, do a farm here. All right, so our journey, our journey into the mighty world, the mighty world of <laughs> the brave new world of historic eras is going along relatively nicely. We have an aggressive neighbor to the east. We have a relatively aggressive neighbor to the west. We're going to try to settle our third city pretty quickly, despite the happiness toll that it will inevitably take on us. And uh, after that, folks, I don't know, the world is our oyster. We'll see what we can do. Uh, because, like I said, we kind of teed off tires, so easy happiness is not really available for us. We could pay some money to Samarkand, and as much as I hate spending early gold, I'd rather spend early gold on, gee, I don't know, a military. Uh, it may become a necessity to give a gift to Samarkand and get us at least friendship, so we can get plus three happiness to tide us over before we get calendar. Um, but like I said, 25 influence is nowhere near friendship. If we pledge to protect now, uh... It may get us a little bit of rep up, but I wouldn't hold my breath. So far, so good, though. I have been Urs, folks. This has been the first episode of our historic era type of conquest. And, you know, it's interesting. The pacing is different. Maybe I'm settling too fast too soon. Maybe I shouldn't be locking down this territory. Maybe I shouldn't be going unhappy so early. I don't know. Um, but that's what I've decided to do. And by golly, that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see if that pays off in the long run. Until then, folks, let's see how long we can stave off the Goths, the Siberian Khanat, and see if maybe the Sumerians will take the wrath of the Goths first. Until such time, though, I will see you then. All right, till then.